In this video lesson, we're going to learn about aldehydes and ketones. So first of all, aldehydes and ketones both have the functional group carbonyl or C double bonded O. The difference is that aldehydes have the carbonyl on the N carbon and ketones have the carbonyl on an inner carbon, not the N carbon. Some properties of both are that they're both polar, so they're soluble in water. But the longer the carbon chain, the less soluble the molecule will be in water. And they have higher melting and boiling points than hydrocarbons because of the carbonyl. Now for aldehydes, they're quite simple to name. You just name the parent chain as if it were an alkane, but then you drop the end E and add the suffix AL to the end. So for our first example, we'll count the number of carbons. So there's one, two, Three. So if it were an alkane, it would be propane, but we drop the E, so it's going to be propanal, and that's how you name an aldehyde. Now for ketones, there's a little bit more involved. So you name the parent chain as if it were an alkane, just the same way, but you drop the end E, and you add O-N-E as the suffix, but if needed, you number the position of the carbonyl, depending on the length of the, um, the ketone. So now we'll practice naming one. So there's one, two, three, four carbons. So that would be butane if it were an alkane. So it's going to be butanone. Now, because no matter which way you go, the carbonyl will be on carbon too. So if we renumbered it, the other way, you always name number at the end closest to the the double bounded O. Either way, it would be carbon two, um, the closest one in. So we don't have to put a number for this one. It's just butanone. So now we'll practice with some of these. So the first one we're being asked to draw propanone. So you always want to draw the parent chain first, like so, and then because it's a ketone, the carbonyl must be on the middle carbon, and then you just fill the rest in with hydrogen, like so. The next one we're being asked to draw ethanol, so it would be like so. The double bonded O would be on the end, and you fill up the hydrogens, like so. So for the next one, we need to count. So the carbonyl is closer to the left end. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be hexanone. And the carbonyl is on the third carbon, so it's going to be three hexanone. And the next one is an aldehyde because it's on the end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so it's going to be heptanol.